Hey guys, welcome to my channel and it is finally here. The countdown is over, it is here and you know what that means. It is Vlogmas Day 1. I hope you guys enjoyed the Vlogmas intro. I had to give y'all a hype Vlogmas intro. I know it's long, but it's cinematic and I love it. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. So drop your favorite Christmas emoji in the comments right now. Spam the like button. And if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel because you won't regret it. And I love you guys. So today's video is actually going to be a get ready with moi. I did put down a few different points that I wanna hit and make sure I address in this video. So with that being said, this will not be a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you wanna know how I do my makeup, like my base makeup, how I'm doing it in this video today, click the link up here and check out my most recent neutral glam makeup, cause that's what we're doing. And yeah, I will list all the products in the description box and I'm gonna stop rambling and just get started. Gotta get these crusty lips together cause it is cold lifestyle. And this is just the Fenty Beauty lip balm. Just not called it. The Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. <laughs> I was about to say Lucious. Um, but yes, we're gonna prep the lips and we're gonna go ahead and prep the skin with the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. You can use any moisturizer. This is just one that I had on hand. But yes, let me let me give me a little note so I don't go all off script. I got it written down and all, y'all. Sometimes you'll get online and you're like looking around like, ooh, like I really like this. And you're kind of discovering what you like based off of what you see around you or on the internet and things like that. And you get really hype or sometimes if you don't be careful, you can get caught up in what you see online or what you see on the internet. And a lot of times without you even knowing it, it will put you in a damper and make you think that you don't have X, Y, and Z. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be great when I get this or Oh, if I just had this, like everything's gonna, gonna just automatically be better or something just because you obtain something that you've been wanting. But that's not necessarily the case. I'm using this e.l.f. or this ColourPop Brow Boss pencil in soft black. But yeah, y'all, you like unintentionally get caught up in focusing on <laughs> on what you don't have instead of what you do have. So today's in a part of today's topic for my get ready with me is reminding you guys to look at your glass half full and remind yourself of you know what you have available to you instead of what you want to obtain or what you don't have. Because a lot of times you can achieve your goals with what you have. You just have to have the mindset to do so. As we go into the new year, I just want y'all to, you know, remember and focus on the half full part of your glass because a lot of times you can, you can like I said, you can create greatness with what you have, but if you if you sit there the whole time thinking you're limited by what you don't have, then you're not going to create nothing cuz you ain't utilizing what you do have. So my main like talking point for this was step back and recharge and basically like i want to encourage y'all to focus less on the influence around you and focus more on the greatness inside of you and basically what that means is not getting overwhelmed by 
the success that you see around you, um, the unachieved goals that might be always in your rear view mirror. Like, don't get overwhelmed by all of that because a lot of times when you shift your focus to what you're not achieving and what you're not doing or what other people are doing or have that you don't have, you shift your focus away from what you do have, which goes back to you um, looking at your glass half full. Going along with less focusing on the influence around you and focusing on the greatness inside of you, I want to like encourage you to like take a step back. Every now and then, I have to remind myself like, girl, you that girl. Like, you can do anything you put your mind to. You have the capacity to be great. I have the capacity to be great and so do you. So you have to like remind yourself like, you ain't no middle of mall type of girl, okay? You are, you, you are special, you have a lot to offer. And sometimes you gotta remind yourself, you are great, you've done great things, and you will continue to do great things, regardless of how you feel in the moment. I wanna also encourage y'all to remain passionate. And if you don't know what you're passionate about, try, try doing different things so you can find out what you're passionate about, what your purpose is, and things like that. Because for a long time, I never knew like, God, how do I, how do I know my purpose? Like. They, don't, they ain't put in the Bible a list of everybody name and be like, this is your purpose. Before you leave the earth, this is what you need to achieve. Like, <laughs> they don't do that. But I just would look at all the things that I enjoy doing and what it, and it what it, what? What? <laughs> what it evolved around. what it revolved around. Pretty much like the stuff I like to do always in some way, shape or form is to help other people. So if you look at my channel, one of my main goals and a part of a mission statement that I probably recreated and rewrote 50 million times ago was um, or is to spread positivity. Um, because I feel like in the world we live in, we love to focus on on the hate, on the drama. If I want to, I will. If I want to, I will. Hey. I hope y'all can't hear me breathing all hard. <laughs> I be breathing hard when do, I'm doing my makeup. I don't know why. Um, but a lot of times, like the world we live in today, we focus on drama. We focus on all the negative things. Like every time you turn on the TV, it's something negative going on. And don't get me wrong, drama is entertainment, whatever, whatever. But the thing is, we don't have to continue to live in this cycle of negativity and drama and all this other stuff like we can foster a positive community and communicate with each other and uplift each other um it don't have to be a crabs in a bucket scenario so one of my purposes or the purpose i feel like one of my purposes on this earth is to spread positivity and help other people because a lot of the things I love to do involve helping other people. A lot of things that are second nature to me involves caring about people and helping other people. Anyway, once you kind of find what you're passionate about by you know trying different things and things like that, then you, you have to remain passionate because sometimes you can be passionate about something but you just get away from it because you're caught up in the daily life, your daily routines and things like that. Another thing that helps kind of get my creative juices flowing once I'm like kind of in a setback position is kind of changing up your surroundings. Like sometimes we get caught up in the mundane and, and we just get all complacent. And all you have to do to kind of get out of that is to change up your surroundings. So I hope something is making sense to y'all. Cause y'all know I could talk, but y'all said, y'all said, y'all wanna hear me talking in the video. So that's why I'm kicking off Vlogmas with a little chit chat. Okay, so yeah, switch up the norm to create a vibe because you're a vibe and you always gotta protect your peace, okay? Now this, 
goes into talking about lifestyle stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, start working out again so I could be healthy. So I was in the gym and I would be in the gym like at least four times out a week. And sometimes you, you gotta, you can't do everything, okay? Um, I wrote a good quote on here. It says, you don't have to do everything. This is not, <laughs> this is not a quote. I made this up, but you don't have to do everything all the time. You know, when you, you set these certain priorities for you and you're like, okay, I'm gonna work out four times a week. I'm gonna get eight to 10 hours of sleep every night. I'm gonna work a full-time job, which is like 40 to 60 hours a week depending on what you do, okay? And I'm also gonna be a YouTuber. This this is my scenario. And I'm gonna be a YouTuber, which means I have to find time to create content and edit content and post content and be engaging on social media all the time and post stuff on Instagram as well as YouTube and all that stuff. And all that stuff add up to way more than 25, eight. <laughs> that adds up to like mad hours, more hours than that's in a week. So you gotta pick and choose like what's gonna be a priority for you. And for me, I had to like step back and be like, okay, working out is great and I love working out. But as it's getting into the winter season, like and uh, vlogmas is here and everything, I gotta pick and choose. And I can't sacrifice my, I learned that I can't sacrifice my sleep cause you know getting them hours back, honey. And I gotta, I gotta stay looking youthful, you know what I'm saying? Um, so like I chose sleep in YouTube over working out because at this point in my life, I am fairly healthy from my knowledge. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so it's not a necessity that I work out four times a week. Now that doesn't mean I might not go a few, ooh, that doesn't mean I might not go like every now and then, but just kind of choosing like, if I wanna put out bomb content, quality content to you guys, I can't over exert myself in all other aspects because that's just not gonna work out. And that's, that's on period. But yeah, like you can't do everything all the time. So you gotta kind of pick and choose, pick and choose your battles if you wanna stay afloat, okay? Oh, I have enjoy life because tomorrow is not promised. Um, and that's so important because a lot of times we take for granted, I always take for granted. And I'm gonna say that up front, like, just the ability to wake up in the morning and have the functionality of your limbs, you able to see clearly and things like that, you in your right mind. Like there's so many blessings that you don't really, you don't really think of when someone rammed the back of your Achilles with a shopping cart in Walmart. Like you gonna get tight, but you gonna be like, mm, you know, at least my nerves work so I could feel that my Achilles just got hit by a shopping cart. Like what I'm trying to say is a lot of times we take for granted, um, just small, I won't even say those are small blessings, but just day-to-day -day blessings that um, we're blessed with. I don't know how to reword that, but we, we take that stuff for granted because you know, we are, hmm, what's the word? Well, that's ungrateful, take it for granted, same thing. But we, we don't realize how impactful it would be until we don't have it or until it hit close to home. So basically I'm saying, you know, cherish every moment, enjoy life, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends. I can't encourage that enough because as I was growing up, being a young, you know, person, and just, you know, thinking I knew everything or even stuff going all the way back, I'll never forget. Um, I was in like, I was in elementary school and my grandma had to bring me to school from a dentist. So I lied to you not y'all, I think I was crying because I was so embarrassed. I was like, I don't, I don't want my grandma to like come into class. Like I don't want these people to see me with my grandma 
or whatever. I don't, I don't know, child, I was in elementary school. But I remember that and as I got older, I was like, bro, like I feel so bad for doing that because I'm so blessed to even have a, grand, a grandmother who is alive. Shout out to my grandma. She just turned 84, whoop whoop, and she is still getting it, okay? Can y'all hear these people acting a, a fool outside? Revving the engine. Anyway, I'm gonna try this Dharma blend, honey. Cherish your family. I, like I was saying, the moral of the, of the story about my grandma was like, I can't believe I was so embarrassed for her to walk me to school, but I'm blessed to even have, you know, a grandma who is able to drive and, and get around, you know what I'm saying? And now I try to cherish every moment because I'm like, cause I, I, don't, I don't take it for granted like I used to. And I try to cherish every moment. Same thing with my, um, the rest of my family members. Like I used to take it for granted. Like my mom, she calls me all the time. She called me at least two times a day when I wake up and when I, before I go to bed or when she wake up and before um, she go to bed. But like, I used to take it for granted and we sent him on a little anniversary trip. Me and my sister sent me and my, my dad and my mom on an anniversary trip and they ain't had no service for like, it was like a whole week. And I was calling my sister, I was like, dang, like, I look, he missed mom. Like, that's crazy. Cause we ain't never really had the opportunity to miss her because we talked to her all the time, but that's crazy. And then to think like, if I didn't have access to talk to my mom or if my mom wasn't around, like that's, that's a crazy thought for me to think. So that's why I say you gotta really enjoy life, appreciate the people who are around you, you know, while they're here. But you know, it's all about working on yourself and improving. And I know I'm rambling on, this video probably gonna be like 20 minutes. Great goodness, I'm sorry. But y'all wanted me to talk, so I'm talking, honey. The last thing said, <laughs> says I will list each item in the description box. See, look at look at me trying to remind me to help y'all, okay? Or not help y'all, but make it easy and convenient for y'all. Y'all need to ch check the description box because I have a lot of stuff y'all be asking for. It be right there waiting on y'all in the description box, okay? Okay. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
but I feel like they're all like a satin creamy finish. They just make me wanna like blot my lips cause it's so soft. This shade is a really nice um, peachy nude. This is a really nice peachy nude and I think it looks really great on brown skin. So we have found a winner and honey, these are only, I believe they're six or eight dollars. Okay, okay. So yes, this is brunch date. So let's go on a brunch date. Sometimes I can sing y'all, sometimes I can't, but. <laughs> the next shade in the lineup is Adventuring and it is also a matte. And this one is more like an apricot. And again, it, it says matte, but it's like a cream in my opinion. It's gonna give you moisture, but it's also gonna give you pigment. So I know my upper lip look a little bit funny, so. I'm gonna go a little, do a little, a little zonka around the edge. All you gotta do is do a little lip liner. Yes, and this is adventuring. The next shade in the lineup is Palm Street. And this one is also considered a matte. And it's a little bit deeper, like a richer orangey fall shade and what i really like about these is that you get so much pigment but it's so moisturizing on the lips literally this is great for fall even though winter wanted to hop skip and jump over fall at the end of summer this is a look and this nice base makeup goes with all of these lips okay and if you if you made it this far and you're watching this video you're og okay and you love me and if you're not subscribed and you're not an OG go ahead and subscribe because I know you're enjoying it I know you're digging this look so just just stay with me okay um this shade is a cream satin and it's called snuggle weather and this one is like a nice nude brown beautiful okay oh grrr. now this is like when you want a neutral like this is neutral Glam, cute, stunning. She is here. She's back. She's revitalized. She's recharged. Okay. Yes. Two more shades left. We have Yum Yum, mm. which is also a cream. So this is a darker brown. And this is super cute if you're doing, this is super cute if you're doing like a day party vibe or you're like going to work, but then you're going out for happy hour and getting you some half off appetizers after work, this is she. If she's going on a date, this is she, period. And the last shade, I know I didn't, I haven't been doing a good job of cleaning off my lips, but the last shade is a matte and it's called But First Coffee. And if I made the shade, I would say But First, tea because i don't drink coffee but and this is the deepest out of all of these shades that i currently have sephora if you're watching please send me the whole line now this says coffee it says diva it says i'm a diva i'm a, I'm a diva this is sultry this is i don't like to say sexy but it is i'm here for it all right, guys, so thank you for sticking with my long rambly. Get ready with me for Vlogmas day one. Y'all get hyped, get lit. I'll see y'all tomorrow on Vlogmas day two. Keep it real, keep it true. Ooh, that's a good outro. Keep it real, keep it true, and always stay positive. I've been wanting to switch up my outro anyway. Y'all give me some ideas. Keep it real, keep it true, keep it positive. Something, something about positivity. We gonna do something, okay? We gonna switch up the outro. But anyway, that's all. I love y'all so much. If you're not subscribed, super, okay? <laughs> Subscribe down below. Like this video. I love y'all. And never forget, at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself and be you to full. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>